new group together, 30 of us, got a lot of newbies, get around each other, this is where it starts. Uh, we've always got that little bit in the back of our mind, trying to earn respect from everyone in the outside footy world. Keep that in the back of your mind, let that drive you across the summer, and let, uh, let's get out there and have a really good first night tonight. Let's go. Left and right, beautiful. I think a lot of it, the girls were just super excited to be back together tonight. But um, yeah, we actually trained really well. The skills were good. The intensity um, in the drills was also good. And we finished 2K, so I think everyone's excited to just get into training now and not dreading the um, 2K anymore. <laughs> so tell us a bit about this training you've been doing in your off season. Uh, yeah, so um, obviously we've had our own conditioning program sent through from our um, SNC staff. So um, a lot of the girls have been meeting up two to three times a week to do the running together. So um, it's been a good way to stay together as a group. Um, and I've also just been um, doing two to three sessions in the gym each week. So just keeping fit and strong. You think all that hard work paid off when you came here tonight? Yeah, definitely. I thought I might do a little bit better in the 2K, but um, we did it after training, so I'll use that as an excuse. But um, yeah, I just, yeah, everyone felt sort of good around the drills. It was nice pace um, and intensity. So I think everyone's come back in pretty good nick. So does that sort of, you're a bit disappointed about your 2K time trial, does that sort of motivate you for the next one? Yeah, definitely. Obviously there's always room for improvement. So um, yeah, I think you never should be sort of too happy with your performance when you can always improve. So what are your hopes and expectations for this season? Um, obviously everyone said, you know, go one better, but um, obviously just to gel as well as we did last season. Um, you know, we bonded so well as a team and I think that's a big reason for our success. So I think just coming together really strongly in this first four weeks of pre-season um, and hopefully the rest writes itself. Um, just take each game as it comes and we'll see how we go. All right, last part of our night, we are into the 2K, everybody's favorite. Are we keen? Are we keen? Good chat girls, they're really focused. Three, two, one, go. And how did you find the actual 2K time trial? Yeah, yeah, so it was fine. Um, obviously it's something that you always dread, um, but it's just part of football, so just one foot in front of the other and got it done. Yeah, so you've got plenty of new faces here. Um, how did they go in their first training session tonight? Yeah, really good. Um, I think already the group's really um, sort of brought those girls in and made them feel comfortable. So um, that was a big focus from Craig to say, you know, it's really important for us to make them feel welcome as soon as possible. And yeah, they're already fitting in really well, trained well, so it's a good start. And what about uh, Caitlin Ashmore returning from Victoria? Yeah, yeah, great to have her back. I think she blitzed us all in the 2K, so um, yeah, no, she's yeah, obviously a great player, um, great role model for the younger girls as well, so happy to have her back. Let's go, Cassie! Push! Holy Cassie, well done. 759. Cassie, well done! Push it up, push it up! Woo! Woo! Line up the track, line up her heart. In this time last year, you didn't really know what to expect and how hard you have to work. Now you know that. Does that sort of change the way you approach the season? Yeah, definitely. I think um, obviously last year was all the unknown, so we didn't know what sort of pace the game would be played at or what type of physicality it would be. So um, now that we do know that, um, all our training and our conditioning is sort of based around that. So um, I think a big reason for our success last year was our fitness and our physicality. So if we can just keep ramping that up then obviously I think yeah that should definitely match the type of play that the AFLW um, is. And I guess going into this second season you guys will have a bit of a target on your back. No one really expected you to do so well. Does that again change the way you prepare? Yeah definitely. Um, I still don't think there is a target on our back because I think we're still underrated somehow but um, it does drive our group knowing that um, you know we do have that a bit of respect from the competition but I still think we're not quite there yet so we're still striving for um, to get more respect from the rest of the competition. Well done, crew. Good start. Well done. Okay. Well done.